Hi, it's JV, Brick Fanatic here. If you're like me, you kind of like snow. You like running in snow, dancing in snow, more dancing in snow, throwing snow, and even eating snow, as long as it's not yellow. The worst part is getting hit by snowballs. And the worst part about that is making the snowballs. Making snowballs is hard. As you can see, it took me hours just to make this small stack. Probably even days. I don't remember how long I was out there. And imagine making a perfect stack of these said snowballs and then having someone chase you with their own stack of snowballs that they can create much faster. You will get hit by snowballs and even pegged in the face. Nice shot, bro. But there's got to be a way for me to retaliate. I think it's time to go crazy. I'm going to attempt to build a Lego snowball maker. This is going to be amazing. Also, I got a manicure. Check out those nails. First thing I saw were these old Star Wars globe pieces. If I use one of each half, it should be able to make a perfect snowball, round and plump. It even scoops, so you can only imagine how it'll scoop snow. I need to figure out how to attach this to some sort of scissor arm. I have these lift beams, and I'm trying to scoop, but it keeps falling apart. Unfortunately, with these particular parts, there's no way to have it lock in. So I need to figure out a different way to make these lock together. Thankfully, I've got a brain like a monkey, and I'll be able to figure something out. If you take these Technic plates and put them like that, you should be able to attach it with some Technic pins, just like that. Now it's locked all the way through. The best way to lock it even more is to stick one of these 1x2 bricks on the end and now the globe sphere, half of it at least, is locked into place. I just happened to find a second one of these lying right next to it to finish the build. Very, very, very convenient. Now I need to find some sort of way to attach, oh, there's a way to attach it right there. I can attach this to the ball to be able to angle it in to make some scissors. Now, where am I gonna find something to build scissors with? This is gonna be a little bit more tricky as I'm unsure, oh, uh, nope, okay, I found it. I found some scissors. This is going to be easier than I thought. As you can see, these scissors are made by just some Technic lift arms connected with pins and axles. Some of different shapes, some of different sizes, and a few different colors. I tried to color coordinate this a little bit with the white, the black, the red, and the blue. There's no white. I'm not sure why I said white. Attaching this is super satisfying. Like the video for satisfying. Now I need to find something to lock all this together. I really hope I can find something conveniently placed. Oh, there it is right there. I'm gonna place that down. And now it's all locked together. This thing is probably super strong and I can shake it about wildly without having it break. Now to test it. I think it'll work. If you look at the shaping, it looks just like a toy that you can find on Amazon. That may or may not have been where I got the idea. Look how sleek this is. This is so sleek. It looks so good, like a professional made it. This could be a real Lego set. Just watch how it scoops Lego. It scoops Lego so well you can scoop that Lego. The only problem is, this isn't made to scoop Lego. This is made to scoop snow. Snow. I am outside with my brand new scissors. I'm going to attempt to scoop snow. And as you can see, it is doing a very, very poor job. This did not work as well as I thought. I don't know if it's my fault or the snow's fault, but as you can see, the stuff is not staying together. 
it is not working as I had planned. I really wanted to be able to make a bunch of snowballs, to be able to throw them at my brother, and have him not be able to say a word. This blanket of perfect snow will be ruined, forever ruined, by my amazing snow scissors. As you can see, this one appeared to have worked. I was very excited. I even put my hand out to grab it, but alas, it falls apart in my hand, and now my hand has frostbite. I tried many more times, different areas, waited throughout the day to try to get the snow to be just perfect, to be able to make the perfect snowball, efficiently and quickly. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be working with this device. It actually works better as a snow clearer. You can clear the whole yard with just this device. It also breaks apart more easily than I thought. And I'm unsure how to fix it. Just slap that back on, put that one back on, and now we're good from there. In theory, this thing would work very well as a snow mover, a snowball maker, but alas, it does not. I'm not stopping here. I'm sure I can use this for something else, like a salad server. This thing works beauties in the kitchen. You can serve salad all day and all night. Look at these salad scoops, the perfect meal. This is going to help me on my weight to lose diet. I am very pleased with how this turned out. You can also keep it in your refrigerator and hide your favorite little orange on the inside so those pesky birds can't come in and get the orange that you so desire. Cupcakes can also be hidden inside. It works very well to hide your cupcakes and nothing else. What have I learned from all this? Well, I like snow and I like Lego. Sometimes they mix, sometimes they don't. A lot of times, if you build something, you have to break it up in order to build something new. Look at me. I built something new. You can throw snowballs that you pre-made with it because using your hand is too much work. This is America. Things should be easy. You should be able to get everything you want for free. That's not true. But what is true is I had fun building this. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is a different kind of content than I usually make. But I'm excited for it. I like it. 